how to naturally raise your NAD levels. Hey, I'm Joe Cannon from SupplementClarity.com. If you're wondering what NAD is, it is only the hottest, most popular anti-aging molecule on earth right now. You've probably seen ads for supplements that are designed to boost your NAD levels. Now, one of, what I wanna do in this video is show you some easy peasy ways that you can save money by and raise your NAD levels, uh, mostly without dietary supplements. So before, before we go any further, I wanna just quickly go through what NAD is. Um, and, and I want to cut out some of the science, just give you the cut and cut to the chase on this thing. Uh, NAD stands for nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide, and it's a molecule that helps us make energy. It's found in the mitochondria of our cells. Now, the mitochondria are often called the powerhouses of the cell, they make a lot of energy. If you've ever heard me lecture, you know I like to call them essentially batteries because that's really how they work. They're essentially fat-burning batteries. And, and there's a lot of NAD in our mitochondria. So why is NAD an anti-aging anti molecule? Well, the theory goes like this. As we get older, we make less NAD. That appears to be true. Now, as NAD levels fall in the body, this leads to unhealthy mitochondria, which has have more defects in them. And the defectual mitochondria lead to an increase in diseases. And the more diseases we get as we get older, this might lead to premature aging. And the idea, obviously, with the supplements is, you know, you make more NAD, you reverse these diseases, you get healthier, and you slow down aging. Okay, that's the theory behind it. Um, is, is there any science? Well, um, let's talk about the big molecule that people are talking about these days to boost your NAD levels. And it is called nicotinamide riboside. Nicotinamide riboside, or NR for short. And this is actually a molecule that comes from the vitamin niacin. Okay, so um, you may notice that um, I've listed three supplements here that are often promoted for boosting uh, NAD levels. They're called Niagen, Nicel, and Elysium Basis. Basis is a, is a supplement from a company called Elysium. And all three of these products contain the nicotinamide riboside uh, molecule. So what does it do? Well, there's been research on nicotinamide riboside, and I can tell you that it will raise your NAD levels. Uh, there's been uh, some human research, mostly mouse research, but both of them say, you know, you, t you take the nicotinamide riboside molecule, and in a month or so, you have significantly higher NAD levels. Great makes a lot of sense. So do these supplements do anything else? Do they make you run faster, jump higher, sleep better, grow your hair? Uh, do, do they slow down the aging process or reverse diseases? Well, we're going to have more research in the future to show us this. As I speak these words today, there's no concrete proof that raising NAD levels uh, slows the aging process, for instance, or anything else. So um, this is the reason I want to do this video, because I think these supplements are expensive. They're around 40 bucks or so a month. Uh, so um, I wanted to bring out some ways that you might be able to raise your NAD levels naturally and save money uh, in, in the process, okay? So let's just jump right into these different ways. I'm gonna give you eight, eight right here that I think um, are pretty easy to do. So number one, you, you drink milk, you're, getting, you're, you're gonna get some of that NR molecule, that nicotinamide riboside molecule. Why? Nicotinamide riboside was first discovered in milk. So every glass of milk you drink, you're getting some of this stuff. Now, you don't even have to go organic when it comes to drinking milk because the research seems to show that regular non-organic milk actually has more of the nicotinamide riboside molecule than organic does. I don't know what's up with that, but that's what some research is showing. Um, Lactose-free milk, same thing. You're still going to get that N that NR molecule. As for you know almond milk and coconut milk and all those quote unquote non-real milk milks, um, you're probably not going to get any NR in those things. But if it's regular cow's milk, yeah, you're getting some. How about niacin supplements? So remember, nicotinamide riboside comes from niacin. So if you're taking a niacin supplement, this will also boost your NAD levels. Now, before we go any further, I want to throw out to you that what I'm really talking about here is not technically niacin, but it's kissing cousin, so to speak, niacinamide. Both niacinamide and niacin are referred to as niacin. So if you're going to go to the vitamin store and look for this stuff, look for niacinamide. Why? It has less toxic effects. Too high doses of niacin can could actually be bad for your liver and do some other things and have some me medication interactions and stuff like that. You don't see as much of that with the niacinamide version of, of this vitamin. It's also called vitamin B3, by the way. 
Um, you could also choose to eat the foods that contain niacin. Again, my favorite food in the world, turkey. Uh, turkey's got a lot of niacin. Again, cauliflower, spinach, salmon, broccoli, chicken. There's a lot of things out there that have this as well. Um, so you could just choose to eat the foods and know you're, you're also boosting your NAD levels. Now, the question that you might come up with is, well, how does niacin or niacinamide stack up against nicotinamide riboside, which is in all these supplements you may be seeing on, on, the, on the internet? And, and I'd say that's a good question. I can't find any research that has directly compared nicotinamide, nicotinamide riboside supplements to niacin. How come? I don't know. And, and, and I have looked and I can't find a direct comparison. And that's something that makes me a little, well, let's say makes my spidey sense tingle a little bit when I see nobody comparing them to each other. Um, I, I'm, I'm a big fan of you holding on as much money as you possibly can. And I know these supplements are kind of expensive. And so um, that's why I, 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 until I see a direct uh, impartial clinical study comparing them, I'm wondering if maybe the cheaper route might be a better way to go. So niacinamide supplements are definitely a way to go or eat the foods that contain it. Uh, another thought is you could just take a B-complex uh, vitamin and B-complex vitamins are, again, not expensive. And I bring this up because we put a lot of emphasis on nicotinamide, riboside, and niacin, but I want you to know that B vitamins work in conjunction with each other. They don't work in a, in a vacuum by themselves. And, and so I've highlighted here B1, thiamine, B2, riboflavin, and B6, peroxidine. All three of these vitamins can help you recycle NAD and make more NAD. So again, if, if, you're, if you're taking a B-complex vitamin, that's great that you're also helping your NAD uh, levels. Another thought is you could just eat the foods that have these B vitamins. And I've listed just you know a, a few of them here. There's more out there, but we've got spinach, lima beans. Again, I actually put them in my smoothies every day. Uh, turkey, my favorite food on earth. Sweet potatoes, nuts, pumpkin seeds, eggs, brown rice, broccoli. There's a bunch of foods that can contain this vitamin. So again, I don't want to just make you think you have to take a, a pill to get your nutrients. Uh, again, you can make a, dar a darn good argument for taking the foods because you're getting a more broader spectrum of nutrients than you are with if you're just taking the vitamin itself. But again, both of these are definitely options and less expense options. Now, tryptophan is an amino acid, and you may remember tryptophan is that, that amino acid that helps you fall asleep after you eat too much at, uh, at Thanksgiving dinner. Um, but I want you to know that as tryptophan gets broken down in the body, it does many things. One of them is it helps us make NAD. So again, it gets back to we're putting too much emphasis, I think, on just one molecule like niacin or niacinamide, nicotinamide riboside. Um, tryptophan is also involved in this cellular pathway. And again, you could do the tryptophan supplement, which which perfectly honestly, I, I would say, don't take a tryptophan supplement. You can get this from food. Again, chocolate's got it, chickpeas, chicken, oatmeal, turkey, milk, almonds, you know, you know, all kinds of, you know, foods have tryptophan. So um, I think that's a better way to go than just say taking a tryptophan supplement, which again, I'm not a fan of tryptophan for supplements. Um, ask me in the comments and I'll tell you why, but I'm, I'd rather you get it from, get this stuff from foods. Vitamin D. So vitamin D is very important to our health. Every cell of your body has receptors for vitamin D. And that tells us that it's much more important than just the vitamin that you've heard of that helps us absorb calcium. Uh, there is some research that vitamin D can, at least in cell studies, can improve NAD levels in those cells. What about people? Well, not so sure yet, but the cell studies are preliminary and they do seem to show it works. Um, regardless of that, um, I would say that if you are going to take a vitamin D supplement, go to the doctor, get your blood levels checked. Let's see if you are deficient in vitamin D. I wouldn't want you taking a boatload of this stuff uh, before you know if, if you're low or not. Again, most people usually, usually if they're going to take a supplement, take around 1,000 uh, milligrams a day of vitamin D, or excuse me, 1,000 IUs a day of vitamin D. Um, but again, remember, you go outside, you make vitamin D from the sunlight as well. So that's another option for you. But again, always get your blood levels tested before you do a vitamin D supplement because it is more hormone-like than vitamin-like. It does a lot of things in the body. Resveratrol is a plant nutrient. Okay, it's an antioxidant compound that is found in a variety of foods, such as two two biggies that are very popular. Uh, we talk about resveratrol, blueberries and grapes. So again, if you uh, make smoothies that have blueberries and grapes, that's what I put in mine. You're getting some resveratrol all the time. And again, these have also been shown to boost NAD levels in the mitochondria. And again, that's where most of your NAD levels are 
in your mitochondria makes sense. They both help us make energy. Okay, so um, you could choose to do a resveratrol supplement or you can choose to grab the foods that contain resveratrol. Again, this is all going to help you give, give you a little bit of the, of the uh, of boost in this NAD levels every time you eat these foods. Now, I say the best for last, what I believe is the best for last, and that's exercise. Um, it, it turns out that both aerobic exercise and anaerobic exercise will raise NAD levels. What do I mean by that? Aerobic, walking, biking, hiking, swimming, anything you could do for a long time is aerobic. And that's, that's, that has been shown to raise NAD levels. And resistance exercise, like strength training, whether it's using machines or resistance bands or push-ups or dumbbells and barbells, this can also increase NAD levels as well. Why? Well, we've known for a, a bazillion years that exercise will increase not only the number of mitochondria in your body, but also the size of the mitochondria. Remember, mitochondria are those powerhouses and they help us make energy and that's where most of the NAD is located. So as you're making more mitochondria, this is also boosting your NAD levels. And again, going hand in hand with this is the fact that exercise increases the enzyme that makes NAD. It's called NAMPT. So these are two different ways that exercise can boost NAD levels. But again, exercise has so many benefits that I don't even want to put just the, uh, the, the big benefit on NAD levels. Um, we, could spe we could speak for hours and days on just the benefits of exercise alone. So just know that anytime you move more, you're making more NAD levels. So guys, that's all I wanted to cover in this quick video. I want you to know that you don't have to spend a lot of money to raise your NAD levels. You can get it from food, some supplements, and you can even get it some ways for free. Hey, if you got any questions, guys, drop me a comment below and I will answer you myself. I'm also going to put a link to some other reviews relevant to this NAD topic um, in the description as well that I hope you'll check out. So I'm Joe Cannon. Have yourself a fantastic day.